What's up everybody, Nokia's back here for your daily video. I know I said that this video was coming earlier, but it is incredibly late. I'm not kidding you. That's a little bit of proof I'm showing you. It's 2.34 in the morning. I'm tired. Attack of the Letter Hose and Zombies. I watched this about 2.30 this afternoon, so about 12 hours ago. This is pretty much about uh, this chemical that causes people to turn into flesh-hungry zombies. This is really stupid and ridiculous, and not in the good way. This movie was pretty much just for blood and gore. There was really no true story to it. <clears throat> I think it was... How can we make this the bloodiest, goriest movie we possibly can without putting it in theaters? Because I'm pretty sure this was a straight-to-DVD movie, or it may have been a straight-to-TV movie, I don't know. I'm just going to say this is horrible. The acting is horrible, the story is horrible. I'm not going to say the blood and gore is horrible. The gore is pretty out there, and the gore is pretty awesome to watch. I was expecting a longer film. Because, hold on a minute here, guys. I need to show you this. Right here, it says it is 91 minutes. I'm calling bullshit. This is an hour and 13 minutes. Maybe they're accounting for the whole entire DVD. I don't know. It might be for the whole DVD, but who knows. I mean, this movie isn't really that great. This review is going to be incredibly short. I'm going to give Attack of the Letter Hose and Zombies an F. Stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be for the movie Bad Kids at Crestview Academy. I just got done watching that one. And I'm going to do a review of Blade Runner 2049 later because my voice is going out and I'm starting to get sick. Uh, but as always guys, if you liked the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm so sorry, but you clicked on the stupid thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down below, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time.